Okay, hello. I have a nice special guest here. Who are you? My name is Chloe, and I'm the special guest. <laughs> this Again. is Chloe. <laughs> Again, she keeps coming back. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about what we're doing in this English lesson. We're going to use the movie The Parent Trap, and we're going to explore. We're going to talk about the movie synopsis. We're going to talk, we're going to watch the movie trailer. And then we'll do lis listening test, which is listening comprehension. Can you understand what they're saying in the movie trailer? All right, so let's jump right in and let's do the movie synopsis. So, Chloe, what does the word synopsis mean? Synopsis means like... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I think a synopsis means that it's like... Um, a little information about something. Yes, it's like a brief explanation, right? So here is the, the movie poster, The Parent Trap. So let's take a look. This is the movie synopsis. So I'll read it and then you read it, okay? Here we go. Identical twins, Annie and Hallie, separated at birth and each raised by one of their biological parents, later discover each other for the first time at summer camp and make a plan to bring their wayward parents Back together. Identical twins, Annie and Hallie, separated at birth and each raised by one of their biological, biological parents, later discover each other for the first time at summer camp and make a plan to bring their way, their way, their way, word? way wayward, uh -huh. wayward parents back together. Okay, so at let's first, see. Go ahead. I thought that was misspelling, like way back. I was confused for a second. Uh huh. Nice All right. So first, let's take a look. What does uh, the word identical mean? Similar. Uh huh. And actually, even more than similar, it's like the same. Uh huh. Yeah. So they look the same. I want a twin. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. All right. So, what does separated at birth mean? Separated at birth means, um, for example, um, if there's two parents and they have two kids, and then after that they, they divorce, they separate, they separate, uh -huh. and then one takes one kid, the other takes one. So okay. Separated at birth. All right. So, since they were twins, uh, they were born together, right? Obviously. <laughs> They were born together at the same time. Uh, for some reason, the parents separated, or wait, the kids separated, I guess. The kids separated uh, or were no longer together, we'll say. We'll try to use a different word. We're uh, no longer together as they grew up. Right? Okay. So, how about biological parents? What does that mean? Biological parents means real parents. Huh. By, by blood, right? By blood. Like, uh, for example, just say um, there's one kid. He, I'll say he. Um, he's actually born, but then the parents don't want him they put him into an orphanage. Uh -huh. And then if that someone else adopts him, but they're not biological. They're right. Just like adopt. Right. And we would call those adoptive parents. But that's not what we want. So I'm going to put a line through it. Huh? Koi, can I ask a favor? Can you move your camera a little bit down? <gasps> you have a neck? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. So biological just means by blood, all right? Okay, and let's see what else we have. And make a plan to bring their wayward parents. Hmm, wayward parents, what do you think that means? I do not know. Right, so we I can... Got, I got confused by that word. Uh-huh, so we can kind of make, get it an idea from the context. Their wayward parents back together. So wayward just means... 
Wayward just means that they have separated. They have gone different in different directions. They have separated and gone in different directions in life. All right, let me fix that. And then we'll get into the trailer. So wayward just kind of means like you you were headed down a certain way and then you you left. You went in a different direction. All right, so it could be good or bad depending on the situation. All right, so let's do it one more time. We're going to read it. And I'll read it, then you read it, and then we'll pause and give the viewers a chance to do pronunciation, okay? I know it's kind of long, but we'll pause for a moment. Here we go. So I'll do it, then repeat after me. Identical twins, Annie and Hallie, separated at birth and each raised by one of their biological parents, later discover each other for the first time at summer camp and make a plan to bring their wayward parents back together. Identical twins, Annie and Hallie, separated at birth and each raised by one of their biological parents, later discover each other for the first time at summer camp and make a plan to bring their wayward parents back together. We'll pause just for a moment for the viewers to, to do pronunciation. Okay, moving on. <laughs> All right, so now we need to watch the trailer. Okay, and let me just get the volume so it's not going to blast everybody away. Okay, so I got this uh, video from the YouTube channel Movie Clips Classic Trailers. Hope you are interested in classic trailers. It's a good place to go. All right, so let's make the screen as big as possible. All right, are you ready, Chloe? Let's do it. I'm going to watch, we're going to watch all the way through, okay? Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. This is so freaky. They're both unique in the same way. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hallie, we're like twins. I have a brilliant idea. I think we should switch places. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. If we switch, they'll have to unstitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again, face to face. Honey, you never looked better. Welcome home, kiddo. Dad. Finally. Now, two sisters. Mother. are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been a trap. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Okay. All right, so that was the trailer. All right, it's time for... I see you smiling, so something must be good. All right, time for the movie trailer rating. This is our first, first gut feeling. What do you think, Chloe? How many stars out of five? Five. Five, okay. Ooh, that's the first time you've given five right away. Nice. All right, let's see. I'm going to put... All right, let's feel it. What am I feeling? What am I feeling? I'm going to probably... I'm going to put four. All right. And why did you choose five? Just curious. Because I think it's... Nothing like the other movies I watched before. It's huh? not about twins. It's not about separated at birth. It's usually something different. <laughs> like only one person, but this time it's like two. Okay. Twins. Identical. Uh huh. Okay, and their goal is to bring back their parents. Uh, it's like a trap. What yeah. is it? What is a trap, Chloe? <laughs> a trap. Is a trap. <laughs> a trap. A trap is like you're trying 
trapping someone, you're tricking someone into something. Ah, very good. Someone. Right. So it could be for an animal. You kind of trick them. You make them think they need to come over here and then whap, right? Or it could be for... <laughs> Or it could be for parents and you're trying to trick them to do something that you want. Sure. Okay, so we got pretty good ratings for this one. And this movie is from, hmm, I'm not quite sure when it's from, but it's quite a while ago. All right, let's take a look. Let's do movie genre. All right, can you say movie genre? Movie genre. Genre. I think it's French. Genre. French. French. Yeah. Genre. I can't even say it. All right. So let's see. We have uh, adventure, action, animation, comedy, crime, drama, fantasy, horror, mystery, romance, sci-fi. What do you think? I think it's mystery. Okay. And why do you say mystery? Because it's like a mystery why... Their parents actually got a divorce, so maybe. Okay. But I haven't watched the movie yet, like the full movie. Okay. And romance. Romance is probably, probably on the list. Okay. And I want to say crime, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> How about comedy? Um, a little bit comedy, I would say, because I remember the. I don't know if it was Hallie or. So one of them actually said, "Honey, you never look better." That was quite funny. Oh, that was sassy. Sassy. <laughs> uh huh. So action. action, like what kind of action? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, they cut their hair. That's action. And they also. Uh, I'm trying to get their parents back together, so that's kind of a little action. Well, okay, we'll put it. Adventure. All right, well, how about we put adventure? Because they switch places, right, and they go to different countries. That's pretty adventurous. Cool. All right, so if we choose the main one, what would you pick? Action, comedy, mystery, or romance? Mystery. You choose mystery? I don't know. It's like, it's like all of them at the same time. Yeah, they're kind of a mix together. So maybe we don't have to just pick one because they're kind of a what? I'm just going to say it out of the blue. Goodbye. We'll just kind of have four and it's kind of pieces of different ones. So maybe it's not just one completely. We would probably say it's like a family movie because anybody can watch it and, you know, it doesn't have to be for older people, but that's not on the. Uh huh. Excuse me, um, do you see that anywhere? No, I don't. Me neither. <laughs> I could add it, but that's all right. Okay, so it's kind of an adventure. It's kind of a comedy. It's kind of a mystery. It's kind of a romance. It's the parent trap. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard of the parent trap before. Mm -hmm. I only thought there would be the kid traps. Huh. I guess this is a Walt Disney movie. So yeah. I, I don't think I've seen the movie, but I, now I've seen the trailer, and I think I it looks interesting. You have. And? Uh -huh. I liked it. You liked it. Okay. I'm going to download it again. <laughs> okay. Good, good. Maybe you watch it a second time and then uh, it's more interesting. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to move on to listening comprehension. And I think you are, you have, you're busy. You have something else you need to do. Okay. So I will see you later. Are you going to leave? Are you leaving the meeting or do I need to kick you out? I'm leaving. <laughs> Okay. I'll do it gracefully. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chloe. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So here we are. It's just me now. I know I'm not as cute as my daughter, but we can do some listening comprehension. All right. So we're going to go back through. We're going to take a look at the movie trailer once again. Let me line it up here. And it's an opportunity to improve your listening comprehension. So it's going to be a bit repetitive, right? Uh, because they talk fast, I'm going to give you an opportunity to listen, to try to understand what they say, and then I will type out what they're saying. Let's see, it's kind of like a game. Are you able to guess 
or not just guess, but are you able to understand what they're saying? All right, so let's see. Let me change my player just a little bit so I can make it easier for me to do this. All right, we're going to do um, advanced controls. Yes, then I can make it loop. All right. So there's no need to delay any further. Let's do listening comprehension. Let's do it. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Okay, so that is our first one. Let's start it. Here we go. Why the sudden curiosity? Oops, let me go back one. sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Okay, so the mom is the first one who speaks, right? Uh, we could say mom or we could say mother. And she says, why the sudden curiosity about your father hmm. right and then the kid's gonna speak right. let's take a look why the sudden curiosity about your dad huh oh and she said dad uh-huh and then she said huh all right good good do it again mother you can't avoid the subject forever at least tell me what he was like okay so the kid says mother you can't mm, the subject forever. At least uh, tell me. Mm, mm, mm. Right, let's listen. See if we can fill in the blanks, okay? Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Okay, mother, you can't avoid. You can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. What he was like. What kind of person was he? All right, let's see if I have the words correct. Here we go. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. Okay. All right, so why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Sudden curiosity means it's new. It wasn't really there before, but suddenly oh, she's like, I want to know about my dad, something like that. Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. You can't try to evade, stay away from this topic. At least tell me what was he like. All right, here we go. Let's move forward. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what Right. Ooh, this is going to the other kid now. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? I want to talk to you about okay. my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Oops. Dad. Okay, so the first part. Dad, I want to talk to you about my mother. Oh, that's the kid speaking. Dad, I want to talk to you about my mother. Right, let's see if that's what she said. What about your mother? Oh, she just says, I. Hmm, this is good for me, too. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Okay, and then the dad starts talking. Well, what about your mother? Hmm? And then the kid, she talks a lot here. So let's see if we can understand. Let's do it. My mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. All right, the first part. Dad... I'm almost 12. Huh? As in, I'm almost 12 years old. Okay. I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? Okay. 
How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? <laughs> All right, let's see. Play it again, see if I got the words right. Here we go. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? Okay, so I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy? As In other words, how long do you expect me to accept? To believe the information you're giving me. But we can say to buy. We're not talking about exchanging money, but we're talking about accepting, believing the information that someone is giving us. And the dad must have told her since she was little that the stork dropped me on your doorstep. And I'm not sure if this is a Western culture thing, but uh, let's see, let's take a look. Stork with baby. Cartoon. There we go. It's kind of a cartoon funny thing that the storks are the ones who bring the baby. And I think it's just a cute way of avoiding the subject of reproduction and birth and stuff like that with kids who might not quite understand it. When I don't know. People do it differently. Parents do it differently. When we raised our daughter, we never talked about the stork. If she had questions about birth and stuff, we just told her what was real. That seemed to work much better <laughs> than trying to hide things. Okay. Oops. Go back to movie. All right. Let's move to the next section. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. Everyone in the world believes... Okay, let me just start that again. I think it goes a little bit farther. Let's take a look. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. This is so freaky. They're both unique in the same way. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. This is so freaky. They're both unique in the same way. Okay, so we have a mix here. We have the narrator. The narrator is the person, the voice in the background. You can't see them, but they provide information that is important to understand the story. All right, so let's hear what the narrator says. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Okay, so he first says, everyone in the world in the world believes they're what mm, in their own way take a look what do you think is the word what's the word that fits in here let's take a look world believes they're everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way okay everyone in the world believes they're unique which means like special you're not the same as everyone else right Right, so it's going to continue. Let's take a look. In their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. Annie James and Hallie Parker, their names, are about to discover. And then it's not a complete sentence because they're allowing something else to happen. And see, I think the kids start talking. Take a look. Here we go. Are about to discover. This is so freaky. <laughs> uh, this is so. Hmm. What do you think? 
What did she say? And I'm not sure which one said it, but it was the kid. What did she say? Let's take a look. All right, this is so freaky. <laughs> so it's kind of like creepy. It's like strange, unexpected. Something happens and it just kind of makes you go, wow. And it could be good. It could be bad. It could be surprising, confusing. It's freaky. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think the narrator is going to complete his sentence. Right? So let's see what he says. They're both unique in the same way. Okay, they're both unique in the same way. All right, so let's see if I got the words right. Here we go. Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. This is so freaky. They're both unique in the same way. Okay, so they're both unique in the same way. All right, good, good. Let's move to the next section. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. <laughs> they're both unique in the same way. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. Okay. So we have the kids going back and forth, and to be honest, I'm not sure which one is Hallie and which one is uh, Annie, but we're just going to say kid number one and kid number two. <laughs> Let's do it. Kid number two. Okay. So first, kid number two says... That's my mom. That's my mom, I think. I think one of them speaks with the British accent, and the British will say mum sometimes when the Americans will say mom. Let's take a look. That's my mom. That's my dad. Ah, so kid number two seems to have the American accent. That's my dad. So kid number one, a British accent, and uh, kid number two, American accent. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see. In the same way. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Uh huh. So, kid number one will say, And you and I are like sisters. All right, back to kid number two. Aha! Uh -huh. Hallie, we're like twins. So we just figured out something here. Kid number one is Hallie. Because if she's saying Hallie, she's probably not saying her own name. That would be weird. So, kid number one is Hallie. Hmm. All right. Yes. Sure, why not? And kid number two, I think, is Annie. Uh -huh. All right, so let's hear it one more time, see if we got it right. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. Huh? Huh? Okay, we're like twins. Oh, nice. Moving forward. switch places. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. If we... I have a brilliant idea. I think we should switch places. I'll go back to London 
as you, and you go back to California as me, if we switch. I have a brilliant idea. I think we should switch places. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me, if we switch. I have a brilliant idea. I think we should switch places. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me, if we... Okay. So, let's see. We'll go step by step. What are they saying? I have a brilliant idea. All right. I have a brilliant idea. Okay, I have a brilliant idea. Let's hear what the idea is. I think we should switch places. I think we should switch places. So switch as in you go here, I'll go here, we trade, we change, we do the opposite. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. Okay, I'll go back, uh, go back to London in Great Britain, England to London as you and you'll go back to california as me hmm all right let's take a look if we, i have a brilliant idea i think we should switch places i'll go back to london as you and you go back to california as me all right and i'm see if she said you or if she said you let's take a look as you and you go back to california Aha! Uh -huh. I think she just says you, and you go back to California as me. In places, I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. Right. So let's start the next section. If we switch, they'll have to unswitch us, and when they do, they'll have to meet again face to face. If we switch, they'll have to unswitch us. When they do, they'll have to meet again, face to face. If we switch, they'll have to unswitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again, face to face. If we switch, they'll have to unswitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again, face to face. If okay, so we heard it three times, I think. Let's take a look. What did she say? I think it's the same girl talking. We'll find out. California as me. If we switch. All right, if we switch, put the quotations, if we switch, they'll, oh, we need a T in there, have to, I think she said unswitch us, take a look. Switch us, and when they do, California as me, if we switch, they'll have to unswitch us, and when they do, they'll have to meet again. Uh-huh. And when they do, they'll uh, they'll have to meet again. Face to face. Can you take a look? Face to face. Right, face to face is just what it means. You know, two people are together in the same place and they're kind of forced to deal with each other each other, to talk with each other. All right, let's hear it. We switch, they'll have to unsuitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again, face to face. Honey, you never looked better. <laughs> All right, this one's kind of cute. Let's take a look. All right, so one of the kids says, I think it's the American. Hmm. Honey? You never looked better. Which is just a nice way of saying you look great. You look very pretty. You look beautiful. Your hair looks wonderful. Something like that. Let's see. Honey, you never looked better. Hmm? Huh? So it's kind of a weird way. You just look at the words, but it just means you look great. Uh -huh. All right. Moving forward. Okay, so the dad says, 
Welcome home, kiddo. All right. So kiddo is a very common informal way to be affectionate, to show love to your kid, right? So instead of saying their name, you might have like a pet name, which is like a separate name, which is a way, it's called a term of endearment. It's a word that you use to show your love and how you like your child. So uh, I think this one was Annie or Hallie, one of the two. And he's like, welcome home, kiddo. And he could have said, welcome home, Hallie, or welcome home, Annie, but he said, welcome home, kiddo. So they probably have a past relationship of talking this way, where he calls her kiddo. It's kind of like a nickname, and it shows his interest in having a good relationship with her. Right, right. All right, let's see. Dad. Now. Okay, so she says, Dad, and then she pauses. Dad. Then she says, finally. Huh? As in, oh, it's been so much time. Oh, and actually this one would be the British one because she went to Ca California. All right, let's take a look. Welcome home, kiddo. Dad. Finally. Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Okay, so we have multiple people speaking here. We have the narrator. Once again, the narrator is just the voice in the background, which gives us information. Then we have the mother and the kid, and then back to the narrator. So let's take a look. Now, two sisters. All right. Now, two sisters. Dot, dot, dot. Because it's an incomplete sentence. He's introducing something, but he's not finishing the thought yet. Here we go. Next part. You're back. Huh? <gasps> You're back. <laughs> oh, probably with the exclamation mark. She's so happy to see her kid. <gasps> You're back. Huh? And the kid's like, mother. <laughs> but with, hmm, I don't think I'm going to put exclamation here, but it's like a period, but with good energy, right? Mother. Kind of like surprised. So happy to see you. Right? Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. All right. Let's see. R, it was dot, 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 because he's continuing his sentence are setting the perfect per <laughs> trap huh it seems like it's been forever okay let's see we're going to move this up so we can fit it it says mother narrator you are setting the perfect trap and then the mother says something again it seems like it's and forever and then the kid's gonna reply you have no idea and if we say you have no idea we communicate that to someone we're trying to tell them you don't understand my feelings my emotions how I have uh, gone through things how the experience has been for me all right so let's see if I got the words right here we go no idea to bring their parents back together. Uh-huh. And the narrator comes back. To bring their parents back together. And we're going to have to move this one up. Okay, so the mother says, you're back. The kid says, mother. Narrator says, are setting the perfect trap. Mother says, it seems like it's been forever. 
And the daughter answers, you have no idea, the narrator, to bring their parents back together. So the narrator kind of has an interest in three parts for one sentence. Now two sisters are setting the perfect trap to bring their parents back together. So the narrator is connecting one long sentence. All right, let's hear we go. Let's hear it. Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Okay, so that was the trailer. Interesting. Now we have an opportunity. We're going to go back through and we're going to watch it again. But this time, uh, we're just going to watch it all the way and I'm going to move the the words along the subtitles as we go. Okay, so, excuse me, let me take a drink. Okay, so, let's do it. Let's play the trailer. Let's do it. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. This is so freaky. They're both unique in the same way. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hallie, we're like twins. I have a brilliant idea. I think we should switch places. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. If we switch, they'll have to unstitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again face to face. Honey, you never looked better. Welcome home, kiddo. Dad. Finally. Now, two sisters are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. Okay. So the idea is, once again, let's take a look at the synopsis to see if it actually made sense, right? This was the synopsis that they gave us. Identical twins, Annie and Hallie, separated at birth and reach, each raised by one of their biological parents, later discover each, <clears throat> each other for the first time at summer camp and make a plan to bring their wayward parents back together. Okay, makes sense. All right, I'll make one quick note. Summer camp, in case you're not familiar with that, what that is, in uh, America it's very common for kids to go to summer camp which just means uh, during the summer when there's no school, they go to these really fun. I went to summer camp when I was younger. Uh, these kind of places that are usually outside, maybe in the woods, by a lake. There are a lot of different activities. You play around. You do a lot of stuff. And, yeah, it's a nice break during your summer. So that's like summer camp. Huh? Okay. All right, so let's go back. We reviewed the movie synopsis. Seems to make sense what they're... What we saw in the trailer versus what they're telling us the movie's about. All right, so let's take a review. Let's see if we completed what we said we were going to do at the beginning. Did we do the mo movie synopsis? Yes, we did. Did we watch the movie trailer? But of course, we did. And did we do a listening test? Yes, we did, which was listening comprehension. We took it apart piece by piece and Figured out what they were saying. Okay, so remember, improve your English, become more valuable, right? You improve your skills, your ability to do things, right? And you become more valuable as a person because you have more skills, you're able to do more things, and then you become more valuable to others because you can help out and you can do things for others as well. Okay, so if you enjoy our stuff here at uh, YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, right and if you're already subscribed go ahead and click on that little bell button and then youtube will tell you when we have something new okay and i do a tradition at the end of my lessons we take a look and we briefly describe another picture so here we go
this is the picture for today. All right. So I would summarize. If I summarize this picture, I would say I see a child walking uh, in the grass, in the dirt, <clears throat> towards a house. He's outside near two trees and some bushes and ferns. These plants right here are called ferns. And uh, he must be like, I don't know, two, three, or four years old. He has jean shorts, a uh, white shirt, a uh, white uh, short sleeve shirt, and it looks like he's wearing small tennis shoes. He has brown hair, which is, it's not super short, but it's short enough that it's not hanging down, and it's kind of longer on top. His arms are kind of up at his sides, and he's looking in front of him as he makes his way, I guess, to the building or back to the house. Okay, so that is it for today. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, evening, night, afternoon, midnight, midday, and everything in between. Okay, see you soon.